trying to be giving none. Body the body and leave the body slum. Body and he's rapping for a living. So, trying to make a milli while I'm living. Whoa, got a couple brothers in the kitchen. Bro, them brothers ain't cooking, now they be whipping. Go, it's crazy how my people they were whipping. And now most of my people they be whipping. God, rolling with a pole like I'm only one. Ain't nobody let me, I'm the only one. Ain't nobody let me, I'm the only one. Ain't nobody let me, I'm the only one. Ain't nobody, nobody. nobody. Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Too. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on, and tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Big elbow there, Lance. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. These guys throwing early. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, straight right. Dealing with a cut now over that right eye. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer. Oh! oh he put him to sleep. Back to the feet. So 31 total strikes. And now landed for Edson Jr. Barbosa. What a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night. 